Hi everyone, Jen here with you today from Jen Dubell Designs. And today I am sharing a project using uh, the exclusive By the Seaside collection from Country Craft Creations. And I have made an album with this collection in the past um, that you may have seen. I'm just gonna grab it here really quick. I recently reposted this album. Uh, this was a large album and what I had left over was part of the 8x8 and part of the 12x12. So I really had to get creative with this album. Um, and I really hope you like it. I also wanted to try um, making a fabric cover. I, believe it or not, have never made a fabric album. So uh, I wanted to keep, once I got the fabric on here, I really wanted to keep it simple with my embellishing. All the fun stuff is on the inside. So let me just walk you through what I did. This is a uh, muslin fabric. Um, that I had from, I do believe it was from the holiday retreat. And then this gorgeous ribbon you see here, I actually purchased at the store when I was in Utah, um, this hand dyed. It matches the colors in this collection just gorgeously. Um, and that was at the actual Country Craft Creations store. So how I did this, um, this album in entirety, it has a two inch spine and it measures five and a half by eight and a half. All of my pages on the inside are five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And there's a lot of fun different things. And I don't have a start to finish tutorial per se, but what I do have um, that you'll see after this walkthrough is a video just showing you some of the different ideas for flaps. And um, I am also going to show you how I did a magnetic um, photo mat set on a page spread um, and a couple of other things. But how I did the cover... Um, this is heavyweight chipboard, and rather than doing the normal lay flat method that I usually use of Tamra's, I did a different method where I wrapped the chipboard. And how I did that, rather than going and purchasing interfacing or um, batting, uh, one of the local stores here had a bunch of men's Fruit of the Loom t-shirts for $2. So I bought a nice clean white one, and I cut two layers of the fabric from that. And that was glued onto the chipboard with it laid out um, using this E6000 Fabrifuse, okay, which worked really, really well. Then I covered that with my um, muslin fabric and adhered that using paper. I, I, I glued that down on the edges and then I papered it. The next thing I, uh, before I did all that, actually, I should say, sorry, I apologize. I did um, use my We Are Memory Keeper sewing machine and I sewed this gorgeous stuff that I had in my stash. So this is a one and a half inch burlap ribbon um, that has these blue starfish on it that just went great with this collection. So um, what I did was I sewed that and then I, after I had the cover all together is when I put that on the book, okay? On the side here, I, I wanted to keep, like I said, the cover simple and organic. All the stuff on the inside is from the collection, um, with the exception of a few things from my stash, some regular papers. So this is um, the cord that I bought. Uh, this is a jute, and I just tied some knots, used a button, um, and knotted that for my side just to keep that very beachy. These are some chipboards I had in my stash from a previous uh, design team that I was on. So there's some starfish here and this fun frame. I cut this out of the paper. These two fun little girls, um, women, I should say, on the beach. Uh, I'm going to use this album probably uh, for my vacation that I take every year with my best friend. We go to the beach and I just thought this was perfect, perfect for that. Um, I have some real shells on here and some pearls and some flowers. And this piece of chipboard here, these two and the one on the back, were all embossed using a pearlescent embossing powder. I did a little white dry brushing on the blue rose and some Wink of Stella in the clear on there as well. Now on the back, this is another piece of chipboard that was first... Um, coated in embossing powder and I sewed it and glued it using that Fabri-Tac uh, to it. And then I pulled the threads through these um, to have a nice hold. And this bunched up hand dyed ribbon is just 
gorgeous on this album. I love it. So let's dive inside and I'll walk you through what I did. So your first page here, I have stacked pockets, three of them, and I did try to use um, the Dress My Craft. I used this throughout um, the different photo mats. The idea behind this album was to have as many places um, to put photos as possible uh, because I want to use it as a memory album for my trip. So uh, there's a lot of photo mats in here and most of them I was able to use this on. I had already created these. So they have blue paper. The aqua is the pale aqua my colors. And then this 110 pound ivory cardstock is from my stash. And when I made these, I didn't think about cutting uh, this from the blue before putting it on like I did some of the others and therefore only one of them is done because I did have to go back and use an exacto knife just to get those out so that did not work here we have one of the fun little die cuts that you get with the collection this page has a belly band and then I adhered um, one of the die cuts to uh, navy artisan cardstock and put that on there as a border, just kind of cut a border and put it in the middle. And then this belly band is adhered at the top, in the middle, and on the bottom so that I can slide um, these fun photo mats in there with the spots for my pictures. So this page spread here has doors that open, these little flaps here. And then again, we have some larger photo mats with those fun picture corners and the uh, navy blue artisan in the background. And then I used the borders. Like I said, I had to get really creative because I did not have um, the full collection to work with. I had mostly leftovers, scraps, and um, I had quite a bit of the eight by eight left. So because my previous album was larger, I did use a lot of the 12 by 12 on that. So here I just took these fun little pieces from the paper, these borders, and I made tuck pockets just by gluing around the bottom and the sides. And I didn't magnetize these, but you could. Uh, there are magnets throughout. Uh, this page I love so much, I just wanted to leave it. I used her a couple times in here, but I love this image, so I um, wanted to keep that. So you could paste a picture on here. Um, you could add a picture corner or paper clip. Here I did a flap. So we have a small, um, this one is adhered to it. This is just here to show that you could add another. And then this flips up and these are also adhered. So they don't have the picture corners. And I also did not magnetize this one. I don't believe, no, I did not. And I actually meant to put this on the bottom of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm on camera with you. So that this is completed. I'm just gonna, all of the decorative papers um, in here. I did edge with um, Vintage Photo Distress Ink. So let me grab my glue. And I'm going to put this fun little strip on here on the bottom one. I just like the little pop of color at the bottom of this photo mat. So I'm going to just adhere that it's already cut to size and if I wanted to I could have made that a tuck spot but I just like it the way it is so I'm gonna leave it like that so we have that See, lots and lots and lots of room for photos already and we haven't even dove into the whole entire album yet so this page we have two side pockets with tags that you could add pictures to and the way I made these tags I will tell you some of the tools besides the uh, we are memory keeper or excuse me the we are memory keepers corner rounder as well as the uh, dress my craft picture corner I did use the heartfelt creations album tags and accents and this I used this die and this die and then I just cut it so that it would fit I also used this die to make this pocket just by putting it on the end in my die cut machine and running it through it would cut that out and then you have this fun little little peep here of this and those just slide right in 
So for the next page, in my, um, going forward in my, my partial tutorial that I did, I did add a full page originally with a quarter inch hinge. Uh, there are quarter inch spaces between these pages. And then I said I didn't like it, but I ended up adding a three quarter inch page. So this is super fun. So on this side of the page, here's where the first magnet was used. There's one inside this little belt. And then we have a fun waterfall using the cut aparts that you could put some smaller uh, pictures. And then on the back, I have a fun little tuck pocket with another one of those tags. And I, this one, I slimmed the sides down um, after die cutting that. And for some reason, I'm having a little resistance here. There it goes. Okay. And that's where the first magnet is. On the other side, I have this gorgeous cutout of her and this die here, which is this one with the circles cut out of the outside. So you can slide a picture. And this piece of paper here is a little big, um, but you could put a small picture in there if you wanted to up against that, or you could just glue one down. This is only glued around her face and down around this way. This side, I cut the she sells seashells by the seashore sentiment out in two so it would fit and put that staggered on my little tuck pocket and then I have a photo mat a large one here and I used one of the die cuts here put a little navy cardstock on the back just to make it nice and stiff and I have a tiny paper clip on here the reason for the tiny paper clip if you don't have it um, I'm kind of picky I don't like stuff flying all over the place so I just stuck that there so that it would it would hold it. Now this is the fun page system that I will show you. Um, I do the, I do believe I did this side on video for you. Uh, there are magnets in both of these, and as you can see, this is a belly band back here, okay, on both sides. But originally I was just going to mat these cut apart and put them on here. And then I decided, well, this is an opportunity for more room for pictures. So these open up and we have two photo mats in each. Fun. So I love that. And I love the way that turned out. And as you can see, these are all ready for pictures. Next, I have this fun little spread and I'm having a little bit of trouble here because my, my flower on the front when I open this is kind of in my way. So here's our next magnet. So we have magnets on both sides. These, this is fun. So this strip, <clears throat> excuse me, is easier to open because when you bring those belts together, it'll move over there. You have one side. You can take this down, take this down, and then you have the other side. So you have this fun continuous spread and these fun little belts. And this last page here, um, I cut out that bottom portion of that page and I have a double photo mat with those corners. See this one, I actually cut them from the blue and then put them on the heavyweight cardstock like I should have done the smaller ones here. And on the back, again, I have those stacked pockets, the little strip of ladies across the top and our little fun photo mats. And these photo mats, will hold, they're three and three quarters by four and three quarters, and then the, the actual blue paper is three and a half by four and a half. So you can get a decent sized picture on these. If you wanted to glue them down, you could put other stuff there as well. So that is the walkthrough of my completed by the Seaside album using a fabric cover for the first time. And I absolutely love this. I love the way it turned out. And I hope you do too. And get this paper. This paper is gorgeous. If you love the sea, love the beach, and want to create something as a gift for somebody that does love the beach or for yourself, this is the perfect paper collection. So remember to subscribe to my channel so that you see when I post new videos. Have a wonderful crafty day. Thanks for watching.